guys, welcome to the Spoonie channel where we are unfiltered, unafraid, and pain recognizes pain. Was going to do a simple look today. I was actually going to film this look. I was like, you know what, I'm going to film this really quick eye makeup. I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to show everybody. I'm not a makeup artist, but I was like, let's do it. No, and, and I'm glad I didn't film it because six colors, glitter glue, glitter, um, just a full beat, three highlighters, I pet, it, it was just craziness. <sighs> so here I am, all dolled up, and I want to talk to you about my spinal cord stimulator surgery. So... You guys that have been with me for a while, you know that my pain is at a can't really function anymore, despite what it looks like on here. And we've been fighting, well, I've been fighting for a more aggressive treatment. <laughs> if you're somebody with ankylosing spondylitis or any kind of autoimmune disorder, especially if it's an arthritic disorder, with my body, my body produces bone in my spine and in my ribs and in all kinds of other places. And no one wants to go in there and start the first surgery because when you go in, there's no stopping. So my last doctor put me for a year on just pain medication. That's it. Girl, you popping pills. That's it. Um, and then he got a new partner. And that partner immediately said, why don't we look at a spinal cord stimulator? Your, your lumbar spine is not good. Your entire spine is not good. And I said, well, now that you mention it, <laughs> the other doctor said I needed to pick one spot on my spine. And he looked at me like I was a Looney Tune. And he's like, okay, where does it hurt? I was like, top to bottom, T to B, man. I have two discs that are fucked up. Everywhere, everywhere, help me. So um, he said, all right, let's get you in for a trial for the spinal cord stimulator. And it takes a hot minute. You have to get blood work. I had to go through a specific, even though I had already been through epidurals and caudals and all kinds of injections, I had to get them again for the insurance. I had to go get a psych eval because it's it's not fun and they want to make sure that you are in the right mental headspace to get better. You're just not looking at this to stop your pain and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, and I went through all of that and then the C word happened. Not that C word, the C word we can't say on YouTube because it's happening right now. It happened and, and I got pushed back months. Oh, I'm sorry. That was so gross. Um, I got pushed back months and I finally got the call that I was going to get in. And it happened fast. So the person, Medtronic, is the one who is actually going to... It, they're the device company. They have the device. They do a lot of devices like insulin pumps. Shout out to my uh, brother-in-law who has an insulin pump. But they do insulin pumps and, and a lot of other things. So the day of my <laughs> the day of my surgery, just like every other, I think chronically ill patient who is scared to death of looking like a drug seeker, I asked for no more pain medication. I was afraid that he was going to be like, "Your pain medication is your pain medication. You're already on a shit ton of it. What do you expect from us?" realizing that, you know, I've been on this pain medication for six years. The efficacy is like a baby aspirin. I am not, I am not saying that I am not appreciative that I have it. I am. But the truth is, um, I went in, they go, they put you under. They said, we might wake you up while you're in there to test it out. I went, say what? Say what? They did not wake me up, um, which I'm ha which I'm happy about. And I woke up, and there was pain. There there was pain because they do have to cut to get those leads up there. They're very thin. They're almost like um, radio wires, and they have all these little um, 
I keep saying um, they have all these little steel kind of circles on them and that's what delivers the pulse. And I would, I laid in bed and the Medtronic representative said, okay, when you feel a tingling, you tell me where and when. And all of a sudden I would feel my left leg tingle. And the tingle feels like, for any of you who've had a TENS unit, kind of, sort of, but not really. The tingling is that moment when your, your leg falls asleep where it's not painful yet. So that pins and needles feeling, but before the pain starts. Just that odd feeling. That's what it feels like. And then she would do it with my, my right leg. And then she would do it with both legs. And I was like, this is crazy you get into your car. Now, now I'm going to insert pictures. I, I should be on one side of the screen or the other so that I can insert things and go here or here. I can't, I, I don't, I, I can't figure this out. So here, 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 I don't know, but I'm going to insert pictures of my back. Um, it's a little, it's a little weird to get your head wrapped around the fact that there's these lines into your spine connected to, it was about this big, a plastic hockey puck about this big, that was just stuck with what has to be, it, it felt like RVT to my side. And then your entire back, oh, like I said, I'll show you the picture, is, is tape. You cannot bend, you cannot twist, you, you know, you can sleep on one side. And let me tell you something, when your back starts to fuse, there's one direction your back wants to go, and that's forward. That's the direction you can't go. So there was a lot of discomfort that came from the rest of my spine. A lot of people who get this spinal cord stimulator are people who have one or two herniated discs in that one area. Not an entire spine that's fucked up from top to bottom. So that's another element to getting the spinal cord trial is that I could lay on one side, which means my bursitis... I mean, I slept sitting in a chair a lot of the time. My husband will attest. Um, it, the thought of doing it permanently for two months is, is a little rough, but I'm willing to do it. Now, now, we're going to get to some of the nitty-gritty details. The first couple of days, yeah, you're in pain. But it's like that first day when you start to feel better after a cold and you're like, the birds are out, life is good, I feel great, you know, and then you realize you're still sick. It was like that. The first day, I was like, oh my gosh, this fire that I feel down the back of my legs, it's gone. It's not there anymore. That's a big deal. My, <laughs> my husband, who I've been with for 23 years, married this year for 21 years, was able to touch my leg for the first time in about six years. It brought us both to tears, both of us. Um, so it, it gives relief. And then you remember that it's nerve pain that it's relieving. You're still having the stiffness. You still have the pain related to the inflammation, you still have the grindy feeling, you still have the stiff feeling, you still have the throbbing feeling, you still have the stabbing feeling, you still have the ice pick, you have the guy that's running you over back and forth, you still have all that pain. And it's from, you know, top to bottom, but my lower back was just a little bit better. I could stand for just a little bit longer. I could sit on a bench to eat for just a little bit longer. Um, and the fire was gone. And that, that was miraculous for me. You know, at least for me it was, but once you kind of takes a couple of days for the incision to start feeling better, and then you start realizing how you can move, invest in grabbers, invest in multiple grabbers, but I would say that if you have pain, that radiates down your legs and mine would go from the top of my booty to the arch of my foot and it would feel like somebody doused it in gasoline, set it on fire, and then will simultaneously 
stabbing it continuously. That's the only way to describe it. And that, that was gone. Um, funny things, when I coughed, I could feel it zap my legs. And I actually called the Medtronic woman and said, am I supposed to have that? And she said, yes. That's another side note too. They call you every single day to make sure that you're doing well. Um, I feel like I was taken really well care of through the trial. It was difficult because we got a new puppy and all I wanted to do was love on him. I couldn't pick him up. I couldn't get him into my lap to give him the snuggles. Um, so, you know, that is small price to pay, small price to pay. And I'm going to tell you about the removal. I want to do it in another video because there's some emotion involved with that. And once again, my quick makeup turned into a gigantic beat that now I'm exhausted from. But I wanted to get this out. I really wanted to talk to you guys about the trial, about, you know, how it felt, wh what I felt I got from it, you know, um, really, really give you an honest opinion. And I will talk to you about the removal. I will talk to you about the permanent because I just got a call yesterday from my nurse that said because it's a spine surgery you have to go get tested for that C word we can't say. Ouch. Nope. Not doing it again. Whoo! But I got it done quickly so hopefully we can move to the permanent quickly. Also, also while we're sharing good news, we were not going to be able to do it in my cervical spine because my spinal cord was too desiccated and there's bone there. Well, Medtronic has a neurosurgeon that is in the next town over that will shave my bone and will put in a paddle lead so that I can also get it in my cervical spine. So big things are happening. Doesn't mean the pain isn't still felt, but one day at a time. Literally yesterday, I went from here to here, you can't see that, from here to here <laughs> in the span of like 20 minutes. So, you know, it's, it's still there and we do the best we can, but that's what it was like. And as always, you guys, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be talking to you guys. Pain recognizes pain and I see you. I love you guys. Look at him. I just, he just got up from a nap. He doesn't quite know what all these lights are. Oh, little, little blue. Oh, he's the wee boy. Yes, that's the wee little boy. I know. Oh, that yawn. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, little man. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Oh, the sweet lips. Wanna say hi to the people? Mm. I know that boy. He's always the sweetest when he gets up from a nap. He's a blue corgi. Mm. Oh, that's Bo. He's upset that he's not getting love. Look, you wanna show the people your face? Look, he's a little blue corgi. And his brother's over there. Yeah. He's full baby Yoda. Yeah, I did a man. Full baby Yoda. Mm. Mm. Say hi. His name is Langley. Langley named after, after, Langley named after the Air Force Base where me and my husband met and fell in love. So Langley, and we call him Langley Blue. Huh? Langley Blue. Yeah. Mm. All right, I gotta go take.